he have much of a family? Yes, uh, his parents are alive. And he has a brother, I think, a doctor in America. A doctor, wow. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that, would you? But that used to be quite common, you know. The favourite son would become a doctor. <laughs> and then the idiot brother would be sent off to the priesthood. <laughs> Your brother's a doctor, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> ah, doctor, how's the patient? Uh, he's hanging in there. It's mostly shock. Great. Well, that's not serious. Well, it's quite serious. A bolt of lightning can do a lot of damage. Can it? Yes. His reactions are very poor at the moment. He's always been like that. Very poor reactions. That's normal for him. Actually, he's not reacting at all to any stimulus. Again, I wouldn't worry about it. That's always the way. <laughs> Look, Father, I'm a doctor, and I know that it's not normal to fail to react to stimulus. Ah, I'm sure it is. Look, 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 look at this. Look. <laughs> you see? It's a thing with priests. We have our minds on more spiritual matters. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> well, no, I think I will worry about it. <laughs> oh, God, OK. Can we see my... I, I'd, I'd like to say a prayer. Yes, all right, Father, this way. As you can see, we still haven't been able to remove the golf club. <laughs> so he's already having an affair with the sister, and this is when his wife is seriously ill in the hospital. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? <laughs> so who does he make pregnant but the babysitter? <laughs> so now he doesn't know whether to stay with the wife, the sister, or run off with the babysitter. <laughs> and when's his next confession? Tuesday. <laughs> I keep a poster. Is there anything on your mind? Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell me about, sir? Uh, something bothering you in some way? Like what, Ted? Have you done anything you might be embarrassed about? Uh, have you done anything bad recently? Anything wrong? Wrong? Yes, Dougal, wrong. You remember right and wrong, the difference between the two. Page one of How to Be a Catholic. <laughs> Thanks for the autograph. I have to go. We have some nuns coming to visit us on the island. So we're all very busy. Oh, OK, Val. Thank you. Look at the book. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Hello, Father Curly. Uh, going up. <laughs> Thanks. Again. Thank you very much, Father. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, hello again. Ah, hello. We have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye again. Good look at the book. <laughs> Good luck with the book. <laughs> please change, please, please change. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord's with thee. Let's not out. Here we go. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Probably needed that. Uh, I have to say, he sounded a lot better on last year's show. No, once he's on stage, he's fine. All right, uh, do you know him a long time? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we've been partners for ten years. So. All right, uh, you run the production company together. No, 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 he's my lover. <laughs> he's, he's quite a catch. <laughs> 
This is my partner, Father Dougal McGuire. Not my sexual partner, I mean, my partner that I do the song with. <laughs> yes, well, I guessed that. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that type of um, thing. I thought the Catholic Church thought that that type of thing was inherently wrong. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Um, the whole gay thing, <laughs> I suppose it's a bit of a puzzle to us all. <laughs> It must be fun, though, um, not the... <laughs> not the, you know, but the, um, the nightclubs and uh, the whole rough and tumble of homosexual activity. <laughs> you know, having boyfriends when you're a man. Anyway, don't mind what the church thinks. It used to think the earth was flat. <laughs> it's like, you know, sometimes the Pope says things he doesn't really mean. You know, we all get things... <laughs> we all get things wrong, even the Pope. <laughs> uh, what about papal infallibility? Yes. <laughs> Is it for everything... Uh, the infallibility, do you know? I don't know. <laughs> right, anyhow, nothing to do with me. <laughs> anyway, Father, I'm really looking forward to your entry. <laughs> the song! <laughs> the song, right. Oh, well, so am I. <laughs> anyway, the main thing I wanted to say, Nevis, we're huge, huge fans of yours here. I'd say we must have every album you ever made. Would you like me to sign them for you? <laughs> That's, that would be great, <laughs> could you? Yes. Of course you should stay here. As soon as I've signed the albums, I'll give you the keys back. Well, I'll just go and get the records. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Would you yeah. like me to put on them? Don't care. <laughs> Father, I've finished digging that drainage ditch. No, Mrs. Doyle. Now I know you wanted me to clean those roof slates tonight. Mrs. Doyle, no, don't. No, I, I thought I might do them tomorrow when there's less chance of me falling off and being killed. Do you know what a suction tubing stabilizing dart is? No. Do you know what a shell diversifier E420 is? No. Do you know what a jet wrench three ply short stick is? No. Do you know who I am? You're the pilot. Great. I know what I did there. I started too big. <laughs> Father. <laughs> do you know what a fuel reserve is? Well, I'd imagine it's some sort of basic backup to the main fuel tanks. That's exactly it. Now, we have a fuel reserve, but the line connecting it to the. Um, the thing on the wing. Engine. The engine, yes. <laughs> that line is broken. If we could somehow fix that line, we might stand a chance. Even sticky tape would do, but I've asked around and there's none on the plane. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. <laughs> Dougal, give us the thing you bought there. All your problems are over. I wouldn't make any calls, Father. It interferes with radar. Dougal, the sticky tape. Brilliant. <laughs> now, all you have to do is get out of the plane, climb onto the wheels, so you're underneath the fuselage, and attach the line. And then we're saved? Yes. So I just climb out of the plane and... Uh, hang on. What? Uh, I climb out of the plane? Yes. I wouldn't trust anybody else, Father. You've already proved you can keep a level head. Then I'll do it. But, Ted! Dougal, I love all this. When everything's going OK, I keep imagining all the terrible things that can happen. And now that one of those things has actually happened, it's just a rush. I feel fearless, like Jeff Bridges in that movie. I haven't seen that one. Not many people have, Dougal. It's probably a bad reference. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. Uh, don't worry about the door. <laughs> Bye. Come back again soon. Ah, uh, Ted, I got those copies you wanted. Shut up, Dougal. Shut up. <laughs> the one you wanted blown up, the 10 by 10. Where do you want that? What do you mean, where do I want it? <laughs> Bye, Bishop Brennan. We love you. Ah! <laughs> 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 
chewing gum for the eyes. Uh, no thanks, Ted. <laughs> anyway, I've got these crisps here. Look, Ted, this is what I do. I get a cheese and onion one and a salt and vinegar one and I eat them in the same go. <laughs> Bingo! No luck then, Ted. <laughs> Eleven. Two ones. Uh, that's easy to remember, Ted. And then when I'm doing the draw, we'll make sure that you have that number. Right. So we won't have to cheat at all. <laughs> well, that's actually how we're cheating, Dougal. Oh, right. Oh, oh, OK. OK, so let me get this straight. You'll be wearing the hat. <laughs> no, no, I, I won't be wearing any hats. The tickets will be in the hat. Gotcha. But you'll put on the hat to give me the signal. I won't be giving you any signals, Dougal. I just pull out your ticket and you say, that's my number, and come up and collect a prize. There's a prize, Ted! What is it? <laughs> the car! Oh, all right. Yes, yes thanks again. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. No luck, then. <laughs> no sign of them yet, Ted. <clears throat> Dougal, uh, Dougal, uh, they're here. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bishop O'Neill. Uh, you were saying? Uh, yes, very simple ceremony. We'll just need a little incense. Oh, incense? <laughs> I don't know if we... Uh, Dougal, do you know if we have any incense? There was a spider in the bath last night. <laughs> no, ah, me too, Ted. It's great to take a day off every now and again. It shouldn't be just work, work, work now, should it? Yes, it's not as if everybody's going to go and join some mad religious cult just because we go off for a picnic for a few hours. God, Ted, I heard about those cults. Everyone dressing in black and saying our Lord's going to come back and judge us all. <laughs> no. No, Dougal, th th that's us. That's Catholicism we're talking about there. All oh, right, right. Dougal, is there anything on your mind? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Is there anything you want to tell me about? Uh, something bothering you in some way? Like what, Ted? Have you done anything you might be embarrassed about? Uh, have you done anything bad recently? Anything wrong? Wrong? Yes, Dougal, wrong. You remember right and wrong, the difference between the two. Page one of How to Be a Catholic. <laughs> Honestly, Dougal, this is very basic stuff. <laughs> what is wrong? Give me an example of something that's wrong. Just, just give me a second, Ted. I, uh, I... Arson. There's one. Murder. Swearing. Swearing, yeah. Anything else? Er... Uh, um. Uh, lying. Well done, Dougal, yes! Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Dougal, are you all right? I'm fine, Ted. I, I just need to sit down. Sorry about that, Dougal. Probably push you a bit hard there. <laughs> no worries, Ted. Well, you know the way God made us all, right? And uh, he he's looking down at us from heaven and everything. Uh -huh. And then his son came down and saved everyone and all that. Yes. And when we die, we're all going to go to heaven. Yes. What about it? Well, that's the bit I've trouble with. <laughs> all right, yeah. But who cares anyway? I mean, they come in, they strip down the wallpaper, they fumigate the place and they're gone. What's so bad about that? <laughs> Dougal, they're bishops. All right, yes. <laughs> What is this confusion you have about bishops? Do you actually understand what they actually do? <laughs> Nothing to do with fumigating houses or anything like that at all. <laughs> have you got that? Got it. Anyway, Ted, let's play a game. Get your mind off it. Chester Buckaroo. Uh... <laughs> actually, I wouldn't mind a game of the old chess today myself. Really? <laughs> no, only joking, Ted. Buckaroo. <laughs> How about Ted? That's a good name for a rabbit. No, I... I don't think that's a good idea, Dougal. You're forgetting I'm called Ted as well. <laughs> I could call you Father Ted. No. <laughs> Seriously, Dougal, you'll have to come up with something a bit more original. Hello, fathers. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Doyle. 
How about Mrs. Doyle? <laughs> well, Mrs. Doyle is not a good name for a rabbit. You need something like Popsy or Bruce. All right. Wait, I've got one. You see the way he's got big floppy ears there flopping all over the place? Yeah. Well, why don't we call him Father Jack Hackett? <laughs> Perfect. Father Jack it is. I, I think, I think, I think I have a lyric. Right, lyrics. Go ahead there, Dougal. What's it called again? <laughs> my lovely horse. Right, how about this? Um, my lovely horse, I want to hold you so tight. I want to rub my fingers through your tail and <laughs> love you all night. Uh, Dougal, 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 stop there. Uh, we want to keep out of the whole area of actually being in love with the horse. Oh. Right. It's more that we're friends with the horse, that we want to jump around with it and, you know, just have a good laugh with it. Right. What about something like, uh, take this lump of sugar, baby, you know you want it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something like those rap fellas at right. Dougal, what's got into you? You can't go around wearing an earring. Ah, no, Ted. All the young priests are wearing them. Father Damo has one. Oh, I see. And did Father Damo give you the idea? Yeah, he's great. What next? I suppose he'll be giving you crack cocaine or something. Crack cocaine? Ah, come on, Ted. <sighs> but if you could uh, just give us a bit of a warning when you're going to do anything sort of... Ah! <laughs> Dougal, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Ted. I just remembered Aliens is on after the news. <laughs> Dougal, for God's sake. I'm sorry, Bishop Jordan. Did you not hear what he's saying about his heart? I know. It's just, it's the director's cut. Come on, everyone. Let's all have a big lad's night in. Do them. Do them. Just, just shut up. <laughs> a heart attack. <laughs> That's rare enough these days. <laughs> there were certainly a lot of prayers said for Bishop Jordan. I don't Jordan know why we can't look at thing. aliens. Dougal, Bishop O'Neill is speaking. But they'd love it, Ted. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> Bishops love sci-fi. Dougal, we are not watching aliens. <laughs> Wrong, Ted. Rabbits! Rabbits, where? Oh, wow. <laughs> where the hell did these ones come from? God, it's like a big rabbit rock festival. <laughs> well, I suppose we just have to get used to it. Get used to it? We'll have to get them out of here before he arrives. I'll ring the pet shop. Uh, no, uh, Ted, it was a travelling pet shop. They won't be back till spring. <laughs> God. What are we going to do? Well, wait, now, 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 there is actually something we can do, Ted. If we, uh, now, let me see now. Just wait a second there. Uh, um, I know, I know, I've got it, Ted. What? Right, now, now, the way I see it is uh, if we, yeah. Uh, yeah, now, wait a second. Yeah. Um, what, what's the problem again? The rabbits! <laughs> you haven't told me your name yet, Father. Him. Be yourself. Right. Um. <laughs> Father Dougal Maguire. All right. This is a great house. I really love the crude religious imagery. Yes, I like it. Are you all right there? <laughs> How's your bra? What? Your bra. Is it comfortable? <laughs> Do you have a bra? It's not too tight, is it? Because <laughs> you can loosen it if you want. <laughs> Take it off, sure. Go on. <laughs> or would you like some tea? I'll tell you what. I'll make the tea and you take your bra off. <laughs> I mean, Dougal, could you not knock the rollerblading on the head for a couple of weeks? <sighs> I know, I know, Ted. I used to be happy enough with the old bike, you know? I used to get a great buzz just going down to the shops. But after a while, it just wasn't enough. I just... <laughs> I just kept going for bigger and bigger thrills. <laughs> but I can handle it, Ted. I could quit any time I want. Well, you tried to quit yesterday and you couldn't. You're right, Ted. I admit it. I have a problem. <laughs> Jim said it was a priest who stole the whistle. All right, that'll be Ted. <laughs> what? Do you remember, Ted? You were talking about stealing something and you showed me the whistle. You put it in your top pocket there. <laughs> No, Dougal. No, it is, Ted. Go, try your top pocket there. Go on, seriously now. I bet you it's in there. In fact, I'm sure it is. Give it a go. <laughs> Just a bit more to your right there. Yes, Dougal. Thank you. 
Anyway, night, Dougal. Night, Ted. <sighs> oh, damn. <sighs> oh. No, no, Dougal, it's not morning. I just switched on the light again to wind the clock. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, Ted. <laughs> Squeeze it there. It's a joke telephone. <laughs> Dougal, this is a dog toy. What? No, it's not, Ted. It's a joke telephone. Dougal, this is a toy for dogs. This is something people give their dogs on their birthday. <laughs> now, seriously, Ted, it, it, it's a joke telephone. Look, you just give it to someone and tell them it's a phone and they'll try and make a phone call on it. Dougal, who would think this is a telephone? Even a dog knows this isn't a phone. Well, Ted, we'll agree to differ, all right? No, we won't agree to differ, because you're very, very wrong. Look, did the picture on the packet not even give you a clue? Why do you think the dog looks so happy? He's happy because somebody has given him a yellow rubber telephone that makes a noise. No, no, he, he's laughing because someone's trying to make a phone call on the telephone. Dougal, where did you go to? Ted, how are you? <laughs> Dougal, what the... Guess what, Ted? What? What? Dougal, have you been drinking? I have, Ted. I've been drinking like a mad idiot. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Dougal, I'm ashamed of you. Ted, 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 Ted. Come here, Teddy, Teddington. <laughs> You're my best friend. God, I love being a priest. <laughs> We're all going to heaven, lads. Way. What's wrong, Dougal? Well, um, slight problem, Ted. What? Well, apparently someone uh, pressed a button in the cockpit. And uh, it's something to do with the fuel, I think. I think the person might have emptied one of the fuel tanks by mistake. Now, anyway, there's not enough fuel to make it to the airport. Right, so that would mean what exactly? An emergency landing or something? Yeah, an emergency landing. <sighs> right. Right. But uh, the thing is, Ted, we don't actually have enough fuel to make it to a place where we can make an emergency landing. And also, there's only two parachutes on board. No, no, no. no wait a second, Dougal, before you carry on. Uh, what did you say the name of this film was again? No, 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 no. It's not a film. <laughs> it's not a film? No. So, right, this is actually happening? Yes. This is happening now to us? It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dougal, here's a mad guess just out of the blue, but, um, did you press the button? Ah, oh, no, Ted, come on. <laughs> did you, Dougal? I did, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ted, uh, that's the other thing. I, I sold Neve the house. What? <laughs> Actually, I, I just gave it to her. <laughs> what? You... Wait a minute! Neve's going to turn it into a studio. She said we can have all the recording time we want. Wait now, wait now. You gave her the house. I mean, how... Ted, wait a second. Where are we going to live? <laughs> Where's Father Jack, Dougal? Where's Father Jack? Yes. <laughs> Father Jack, where is he? He's in his... Oh, um... <laughs> You've lost him again, haven't you? I have, Ted, yeah. <laughs> you took him out for a walk and you lost him... again. That must have been what happened all right, yeah. So, what have you got to say for yourself? Well, Ted, like I said the last time, it won't happen again. <laughs> Dougal, are you not going to go and look for him? Ah, Ted, he'll come back on his own. Sure, what's the worst that can happen to him? Well, he could have an accident and be killed. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, wait a second, Ted. Is that not Jack there? <laughs> ah, Dougal, you didn't even get him out the door, did you? <laughs> oh. I thought the wheelchair felt a bit lighter today, all right. Ah, <laughs> oh, Ted, I just remembered that we're all going to die. <laughs> Dougal, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, I know sometimes I'm a little short with you. <laughs> sometimes I'm not as patient as I should be. But, you know, in the end, we're the best of friends. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> I'm just trying to say... Uh, I know sometimes I act like maybe you get my nerves, but I suppose secretly I, I think it's quite funny. What's funny? <laughs> you know, the, the way you mix things up and sometimes you don't get what's going on. <laughs> Who are you talking about again? <laughs> you. What about me? <laughs> I'm just trying to say, Dougal, 
I like you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Who are you saying that to? You! I just said it there! <laughs> hey! We're on a plane! <laughs> Is the television broken again, Father? Yes, we Never had a bit of trouble with... Never you mind. There's nothing wrong with it that can't be fixed with a bit of you-know-what in the head department. <laughs> now then, who's for tea? Uh, me, please, Mrs Doyle. Tea! Thick! <laughs> I'm fine, Mrs Doyle. You won't have a cup. Ah, uh, no, thanks, Mrs Doyle. Honestly, I won't have a cup. Are you sure now it's hot? <laughs> no, I'm not in the mood, thanks. <laughs> All right, so... I go on, would you not have a drop? No, thanks anyway, Just Mrs. Doyle. Cup. I'm fine. Uh, no, really. I'll tell you what, Father. I pour Seriously. a cup for you anyway. Ah! <laughs> and you can have it if you want. No. And what do you say to a cup? Take off, cup! <laughs> Fine, thank you, Mrs. Doyle. Will you not have a cup of tea, Bishop Lennon? No, I am not going to stay. I want to get right to the point and get the hell out of here. Are you sure you won't have a cup? I am certain, thank you. Go on, have a cup. No, thank you. Now, I... look what everybody else is having a cup. Would you not have one yourself? I do not have the time. You'll now, feel pretty, left but... out. You'll be Bishop Piggy in the middle. I'm fine. I am fine. Are you sure you won't have a cup? Just a drop. No! Bishop Piggy in the middle. <laughs> I won't have a sherry, thank ah, you. Ah, don't be silly now. Of course you No, will. no, no, really, I shouldn't. Go on, <laughs> it'll help you sleep. No, 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 it's not a good idea. You go ahead. Just a little drop, just a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> the day a little bit of sherry hurts anyone is the day Ireland doesn't win the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 really, I should Ah, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> go on. Go on. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, seriously, go I can't. Go on, 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 go on. Anywhere there. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, no, thanks. No, I have a kind of allergic reaction to it, you know. It's very rare, but pretty serious. If I drink tea, there's a 70% chance I'll die. Well, I'll make you a cup anyway. <laughs> In case you change your mind. Uh, no, uh, thanks anyway. Will you have a sandwich, Father Cleary? Uh, oh, no, thanks, Mrs Doyle, I'm fine. Have a try. They're diagonal. Uh, so I see, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, no, thanks, anyway. Ah, go on. Sure, they're only small. No, no, I'm going to... Are you sure you won't have one? Uh, no, thanks, Mrs Doyle. I, I ate before I came out. Would you like one for later? I could put it in a bag. Ah, no, no, don't bother. No, no. Here's a little bag you can bring one home in. No, no, no. And here's a bigger bag you can put the little bag into. No. And you can eat it later or you can eat it now if you want, whatever suits you. Ah, oh. uh, you'll have one now. Ah, sure, I might as well. Mrs Doyle. <laughs> I think Father Mackey would like a sandwich. Father Mackey, will you have a sandwich? <laughs> Cup of tea, fathers. No, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, that. Right. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your hand, then. Go on inside, Mrs. Doyle. I'll take the tray. All right, Father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. Yeah. Here's the sandwiches for tonight. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do my test. Uh, what test is that, Mrs Doyle? Well, I select a sandwich at random and try it. And if it doesn't meet my standards, I put the lot of them in the bin. They're fine. <laughs> Here we are now, tea for everyone. <laughs> tea, Father. Oh, God almighty, Mrs. Doyle. What are you doing up? Oh, I always stay up, Father, in case one of you needs a cup of tea. <laughs> 
How long have you been doing this? Oh, about three years now. <laughs> but we never get up at night, Mrs Doyle. Well, you're up now, aren't you, Father? Unless I'm hallucinating from lack of sleep. <laughs> That's happened before, all right. <laughs> I'm just getting my jacket to, to go for a little walk. Right, so... Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> no, we'd rather die of thirst. Okay, so? Um, Mrs Doyle, um, I think Father Jessup was being a bit uh, sarcastic. What? Why are you being sarcastic, Father Jessup? No, we want to die of thirst. <laughs> uh, Mrs Doyle, I know it's a bit confusing, but just do the opposite of what Father Jessup says. Okay. So, you really do want a cup of tea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just forget all about it. Just forget about it. Just do not mention the sun. Have you got that? I have, Ted. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> Bishop Redden is here. Hell's bells. Right, show him in. Dougal, now remember, not a word about the sun. <laughs> Hello, Bishop, how are you? Come on in, sit down. Sit down there, Your Grace, beside uh, Father Dougal. <laughs> Mrs Doyle, some tea, please. Oh, certainly, How's the sun? What? The son of God! How's the son of God? How's everything in the world of religion? <laughs> the world of religion? What the hell are you talking about, Quilly? Well, you know. Oh, Mrs. Doyle, and you sign that tea. <laughs> Here I am. Here I am. Oh, isn't this grand? I'm fine, thank you, Mrs. Doyle. Will you not have a cup of tea, Bishop Lennon? No, I am not going to stay. I want to get right to the point and get the hell out of here. Are you sure you won't have a cup? I am certain, thank you. Go on, have a cup. No, thank you. Now, I... look what everybody else is having a cup. Would you not have one yourself? I do not have the time. You'll now, feel pretty. left out. You'll be Bishop Piggy in the middle. I'm fine. <laughs> I am fine. Are you sure you won't have a cup? Just a drop. No! Bishop Piggy in the middle. <laughs> Just say yes, Your Grace. It's, it's quicker, believe me. All right, then, yes, Mom. I grant so. <laughs> well, I hope you're not doing too much damage here, huh? Jack? Are you behaving yourself? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Your Grace, uh, what brings you to these parts? Thinking of sending us back to our parishes. <laughs> Fat chance. You're here until I tell you otherwise. Do you think I'd let Jack back into a normal parish after the wedding he did in Athlone, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, but, but surely I, I'm all right. No, no, no. No, no. You were here until the, all of that money is accounted for. <laughs> I didn't know what happened to that money. I Enough! You went to Las Vegas, whilst that poor child was supposed to be in Lourdes. <laughs> and as for this... cabbage... <laughs> the mere idea of letting him back into the real world after the Black Rock incident. Yes, that was unfair. The amount of people's lives irreparably damaged. Uh, there were only nuns. <laughs> nuns are people too. My God, the strings I had to pull to stop the Vatican getting involved. I do not want to talk about it. I just want to get this film business over and done with. F film? What, what film? This blasphemous film. 
the passion of St. Tibullus. Now, His Holiness has banned it. But because of some loophole, the bloody thing is showing on this god for a second dump. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, is it any good, do you know? I don't care if it's any good or not. All I know is that we have to be seen to be making a stand against it. I have been brought back from my holiday in California to sort it out. <laughs> and that's where you and Larry and Mo come in. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I know that normally you wouldn't be able to organise a nun shoot in a nunnery. <laughs> but despite that, it's up to you to make the church's position clear. Make some kind of a protest at the cinema. Even you should be able to manage that. Oh, thanks very much. Listen, this is very serious. Don't make a balls of it, right? I'll be in touch. Your Grace, that, this, this isn't really my area. Nothing is your area, Crilly. You do not have an area, unless it's a kind of a play area with sandcastles and buckets and spades. Now, do what you're told, right? Bye now. What's this then, Your Grace? Uh, why am I looking at a globe of the world? Well, um, how can I explain? Firstly, a resume of the last few days. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I came in here with the idea of you making a dignified protest about this film. Do you remember that? Yes, yes. Uh, good, you know, just to show the church's opposition to the film. But, and this is the part that I find most interesting you have actually made this film the most successful film ever shown here. Isn't that great? Huh? <laughs> I mean, people are coming from all over the country to see the film. They're even coming from Gdansk to see the film. <laughs> and look at this. Look, look at that. Look. There's you. There's Forrest Gump. And there's Father Jack actually watching the film. Now, there's a turn up for the books. What? <laughs> right. Now. I think the best thing would be for ye three to continue your careers as priests come film promoters outside of my jurisdiction. Huh? Now, Ted, I thought that you might like to go to America. Hmm? What part do you think? Well, um, Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ted, I meant South America. <laughs> oh, you see, there's a lovely little island off the coast of Suriname and... Uh, <laughs> They have a couple of tribes there. You're going to love this. <laughs> and they have been knocking the shit out of each other since 1907. And we have never been able to find the right man to bring them together in a spirit of Christian harmony. But I think that you are the man. Well, thanks very much. No need to thank me. By the way, do you know how to make uh, arrows? No. Well, not to worry, not to worry. It'll come to you. <laughs> now, Dougal, over to you. Isn't it funny? How some of these places in the Philippines can keep on going without a proper sewerage system, hmm? Right there, Your Honor. Now, Jack, where can we send you, huh? Jack, wake up. Bishop, I wouldn't do that. You shut up. Jack, wake up! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I've got you now, Jack. I've got you. Oh, my God. If you think this place is bad, wait till you see your new parish. Just wait until you see. <laughs> Well, that's it then. I suppose, I suppose all we can do now is pack. <coughs> Ted, I don't want to go to the Philippines. I mean, I can't even spell the Philippines. I know it begins with an F, but I... <laughs> I know, I know. If only there was some way we could persuade the bishop to change his mind. If only we had something we could bargain with. I don't know. <laughs> What's that, Jack? Did you get a film? <laughs> the last thing I want to watch now is a film. That was great, wasn't it? <laughs> You're right there, Ted. Um, should we phone him now or will we watch it again? I think we'll watch it again. <laughs> Wrong number. Really? Ah, hello, Bishop Brennan. <laughs> I think you got the wrong number when you called there. Shut up, Quilly. Shut up. I'll make this quick. What would the following words suggest to you? Jack, 
sleepwalking and bollock naked. <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is the third time in the last six months. You may have heard of Brian Noonan, hmm? A very important junior minister and a personal friend of mine. And I can tell you the last thing he and his family needs to see is the vision of an elderly priest wearing only a pair of socks and a hat. <laughs> now, I'll be around on Thursday to examine the security arrangements. And, Crilly... Yes? If you ever try to bullshit me like that again, I will rip off your arms. <laughs> Mr. Brennan's coming over to have a word with you, Father, about your nude sleepwalking. Nudie Father Jack! <laughs> I suppose you must clock up a fair old mileage every year going round the diocese, you know. <laughs> doing the old uh, bishop sort of really, really. Where and... is my room? Well, um, yours is the spare room, Your Grace. It's the first on the right. Uh, -huh. uh This lettuce. Oh, no, thanks. I've already had some. You, you take it. <laughs> no, Crilly, no, Crilly, like Crilly, I mean this lettuce. Where did it come from? You, you don't have rabbits, do you? No, of course no. Because, you see, I don't like them at all. I had an experience once with someone. It wasn't very nice. They got into a lift with me, and they started to nibble at my cape and, and uh, everything. It was... Well, you've absolutely nothing to worry about, Your Grace. <laughs> no, that's just where we, um, where we grow the lettuce. <laughs> you, you grow lettuce... Indoors, in a cage. Yes, it's safer, you know. Um, no one can steal it, and uh, well, you know, it, it, it brightens up the room. Uh huh. Hmm. Um, Crilly, what is this? <laughs> That's um, caviar. <laughs> caviar. <laughs> Yes, well, it's not every day we have a bishop around, so we thought we'd get the caviar out. <laughs> right, so what you have done is you have spread some caviar down there so I can get down on my hands and knees and eat off the floor. Yes. <laughs> what do you think I am, Crilly, a pony? <laughs> I'm going to my bed. Dude, get as many as you can. Come on. All right, Dad. Come on, lads. Shh. Just a bad dream, Your Grace. <laughs> Over in the mood. Oh. 